looking into the body cameras, and I honestly feel like if you're going to put them on the officers, they do not need to be tampered with. They need to be running the whole time that they're on duty. No stopping, no pausing, just straight through. It needs to be very clear that we see our loved ones when things are happening. On September 30th of 2018, I feel like nothing that night should happen, but my son was shot down like a, like he was just a horrible child. It was no need for the Portland police to kill my son and shoot him nine times. Mm -hmm. If it was a threat when he was running towards them, they should have shot him at that point. He was no longer a threat to your officers when he turned his back. Not only that, I'm not sure if he really does in the Portland pages or not, but he was shot when his hands was up. Me and my family watched the video. The video has been edited. Family and friends watched the video. I was the first one to be able to watch the video before it was released to the press. DA Todd was sitting in there with us. We asked him questions at the time of the video being played. He agreed to all questions. When the police asked my son to put his hands up before anything, he turned around, his hands was up like this. The whole time he was running, his hands was up. Now the video that's released to the press, you don't even see my son's hands up. But in the documentation of the 400 pages, it states three or four bullets that entered Patrick Kimmons' body was entered while his hands was raised. I'm asking as a parent that I have to watch a video of her son and he shot it nine times in the back. Is it not, not on the McCown Courthouse down? I'm not sure if you ever lost one. But to see that video doesn't mean my son was a threat to him. It's in other ways they could have killed my son. They, they could have did to my son. My son paralyzed him to, to his breath toes. If you watch the video closely, he wasn't even running fast. He was running with a limp. I just want justice. I don't feel like this man should be on the force. You know, I don't feel, I feel like your officers are shooting to kill, and they just need to be retrained, Ted. They need to be retrained. That's sort of high power. Thank you. Appreciate you coming in. Next individual, please. 266, request of Brooke Kavanaugh to address council regarding no. the expansion of fossil fuel infrastructure and increase in interest carrying Sorry, I couldn't keep myself from shaking there, guys. I know I'm a shitty cameraman, but uh, wow. Nice to see Ted's compassion, right? Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming, Ted says. Thank you for joining us this morning after we murdered your child and lied about it, Ted says. Oh my God. I gotta breathe. What do you guys think? Giant, giant clusterfuck? What are we gonna do here? Nobody gives a fuck. Nobody's gonna stop killing people. The Portland police aren't even slowing down. They're speeding up. Did you know that? Did you know that? They're actually killing people at a higher rate now. Since Moose Hayes was killed, they've just been boom, 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 boom. So fast we can't even keep up with it and nothing, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. Nothing at all. They can't even keep new cops on the force. They're hiring at a lower rate than ever and they have double the failure rate. Nobody wants to join their kill squads. Or they recruit people that are so stupid that they can't make it through the training. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. The, the sitting, sitting around waiting I can tell you. Hey, Jen. Um, that's okay. We're just getting started, and this will go live. This is actually Ted Wheeler's office. Um, this guy right here. Wait a minute. 
this guy right here. Let's take that off the wall. Let's go ahead and take this outside. Oh shit, did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? Did you see what just happened? That's crazy, man. You have a good day, sir. All right, I'm gonna have a great one, man. You know, guys, I thought I was getting, I thought I was getting arrested today. And I'm not, I don't think. Because I just got away with it. That was pretty funny. I just took a pedophile off the wall of the uh, mayor's office. That was pretty sweet. That's been bugging me for a long time. All right. Hey, guys, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for a minute. Get the fuck out of here before somebody finds me. And I'll catch you guys in a while.